Hey, this is Del Curry, and you're listening to Jim on Bass. Welcome back to another episode of the Jim on Bass Show. We're here at Edgewood Tahoe with the great Del Curry. I just had Seth on, and uh, now we got the dad. So you're the first number 30 in the family, so that's got to be cool to set the tradition. Yeah, easy number for the guys to pick, um, you know, all through their college careers now in, in, uh, in the pros. So it's been a fun ride watching those two guys develop uh, into the players and, and uh, persons that they are on and off the floor. So it makes, uh, makes a dad really proud. And speaking of being a dad, having an influence on them, uh, you were kind of the veteran at the end of your career when Vince Carter was on the team, right? So that, and he's here at the tournament. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, last three years in, in Toronto, I played with Vince. Tremendous talent, obviously, but um, talk about the time when he remembers this is the boys coming to practice, playing one-on-one, shooting uh, you know, some game of horse or something. Uh, so he, a lot, all my teammates had a big influence on uh, helping my boys learn the game, how to go about being a professional, and, and uh, I think that helped them set the goal to, to that they wanted to be at the NBA. And speaking of being a, a player, now you're retired. You're busy though, right? You're doing grandpa duties. <laughs> Nine of them, yeah. So <laughs> still do uh, TV for the Hornets oh, yeah. uh, broadcast. I love that. Uh, my man Eric Collins I work with, he's, he's a blast. Uh, so blessed to still be involved in the game. Uh, 15 years in the broadcast, 16 years on the floor, and um, watching my boys play and be able to call their games and Seth Nell and Charlotte. So it's, it's been a blast. It's getting better. And you look good, so could you ever go incognito and jump in any pickup games or anything like that? Is the shot so good? Uh, I, I'm, I can shoot around a little bit, but too many of my buddies are, are pulling Achilles and hurting knees playing basketball. I like golf too much, so I'm still a set shooter. <laughs> and how many is this for you? Because I, I think I heard uh, Steph started here, and then you were the caddy, and now you're yeah. playing in it. I played when I was active in the NBA years ago when it was still stroke oh. play. Those were some long rounds, but I'm a much better golfer now. <laughs> Uh, caddy for Seth, uh, for Steph his first uh, year here, and uh, then they said, "Hey, you want to play again?" So I think it's, it's since like 16 or 17 I've been playing the tournament. Um, my game's getting better. I'm getting more accustomed to, to not hitting people, uh, but the the, the tournament's such a good good week. They put on such a good tournament, and uh, the celebrities and, and uh, people that they have here is just class uh, men and women, and I, it's a joy to be around them. And uh, are you getting on a plane to go to France now? Or are you guys headed out? Or Yeah, uh, first of August, I'm going over. Um, looking forward to that. Going to hang out and hopefully uh, help them win a goal. And last question here. I talked to Seth. I said, I'm asking everybody, who's your first concert and what kind of music are you into? And he said that he thought you and the, uh, your wife brought him to Janet Jackson. So who was your first show? <laughs> Janet Jackson, yeah, I don't remember that. Uh, <laughs> my first... I don't know, maybe Rascal Flats okay. made my first up. I'm all over. I like country, little R&B. I'm all over the place. Well, Dell, it's good to meet you. Thanks for giving me some time, and I'll be rooting you on the rest of the week. No problem. No problem.